I'm Shane. I'm Karen and today's our first road trip in Tezzi from Canberra to Adelaide, a distance of roughly 1200 kilometres. But wait up there Kaz, electric vehicle haters tell me all the time that electric vehicles can only travel a couple of hundred kilometres at best and you have to wait around the charges all day. <laughs> I think that's bullshit. Let's check out different types of EV chargers along the way. And let's see if the EV haters have got it correct. Roll, Roll the, the intro. intro. We're on the Hume Highway at the moment. We're heading across to Adelaide. Um, and it's going to, going to be a three day trip. Uh, and we're taking the nice leisurely route. We're in no hurry whatsoever. And where we're we sleeping the first night, Kaz? Darlington Point, the other side of Narendra. Yep, and then on the next night? Beautiful Mildura in Victoria. That's right. And then uh, on that third day, we're just going to roll into Adelaide. Um, our first charger will be, was it the Rules Club in Wagga? Rules Club in Wagga. The Tesla Supercharger. So we'll get a quick charge and we'll have a little bit of lunch. Um, and what we'll do is we'll just try random charges along the route um, just to give you a, a rough idea of what the other charges are like to use NRMA, EV, and such forth. Uh, we'll give you a few charging tips along the way uh, just to make life a little bit easier if you're in an electric vehicle in the future. Um, other than that, we will see you further down the road. We stopped at the Dog and the Tucker Box just off the Hume Highway. This is a popular rest stop with Subway, KFC, Oliver's, etc. There are Charge Fox EV chargers out the front and Tesla superchargers out the back of Oliver's. You may be thinking, why don't we charge here rather than Wagga? Well, we still have 414 kilometres range left and it's not lunchtime yet. The only thing that needed attention here was Shane and his sweet tooth. We continued on making fast headway to Wagga. We arrived at Wagga Wagga. These are our driving stats. I unhooked the charger Pop the flap and plugged it in. While Tezzy was charging, we ate lunch, so there was no wasted time. After we finished lunch, we headed back to the EV. Tezzy charged from 58 to 95% in 35 minutes at a cost of $21. We continued our journey and finally arrived at Darlington Point. Yep, that's it. We're room nine. These are the driving stats for the last leg. The hotel only had a 10 amp outlet, so we connected our granny charger via a amphibian adapter. We set the granny charger for 10 amps. It is called a granny charger because it is slow. Then I plugged in the Mena Keys or Type 2 plug. It is time for tea and the end of a long day. In Darlington Point, nobody uses alarm clocks because the Corellas wake you up. Tezzy topped up her charge overnight while we were sleeping. She went from 62 to 100% over 12 hours and it was for free. <coughs> this lonely grasshopper was more than the loss of his locust comrades from yesterday. And Shane was cleaning up a few of his friends from the windscreen. Because Shane couldn't stop talking to Rob, the motel owner, we left late. G'day everyone, 
it's day two. two. We're heading across the Hay Plains, one of the flattest places on the, the face of the earth. Most boring part. Anyway, we're off to Mildura. Um, it's about 400 kilometers away and we managed to get a, a full charge overnight. We just did a top up charge at the motel because while you're sleeping, you may as well be charging. It's no extra effort. It's Makes a no, sense. It's a no-brainer. Anyway, um, we should have uh, roughly, I think, about 20% by the time we get to the motel over in uh, Mildura. So we're just going to cruise the whole day. We're not going to bother charging at lunch. Um, and we're just going to see how things flow. Uh, but And what was the motel we stayed at last night, Kaz? The Darlington Point Motel. Lovely motel. It's kind of... Um, they're kind of uh, fly in, fly out huts, aren't they? Yeah, quite comfortable. Yeah. Robert, the owner, um, was telling us that, um, well, him and his wife own it. But basically, Robert was telling me that they actually bought these huts out of Queensland. Uh, some FIFO huts that were kind of left over from a mining site that went bust. And they've basically made this into a, a motel. Um, Robert's also a counsellor. He's showing us around town as well. All the developments are happening around Darlington Point, and he's also thinking about putting in an EV charger. And we took Robert for a ride in this this morning, and he was just thoroughly impressed. It's more than sold on electric vehicles. He's throwing in an EV charger at the Darlington Point Motel, so you may actually see that in the future. You know, if you have a look in Plugshare or whatever, Darlington Point, midway between Sydney and Adelaide, it's a great place to stop over. Any which way. We better head up the road and we're just going to make our way to Hay, which is, might be our first stop, so we'll catch you later on. We arrived at Hay for a rest break. Hay has an NRMA 50 kilowatt charger and four 11 kilowatt Menekees or Type 2 chargers. To operate the NRMA charger, you need the My NRMA. Select EV Chargers, Find, Charge and Pay. Select your location, then select your charger. Select your charging port. Then swipe to start. Using apps can sometimes suck because you need a good 4G or 5G mobile signal for it to operate. That's why EV charging cards are so much better, as you will see later. For the 11 kilowatt chargers, you require a Type 2 to Type 2 cable. Shane plugged one end into the charger, popped the hatch, and the other end into Tessie Tesla. We did not take any charge at this time because we did not need it. If you require a charge lead, you can borrow one from the information centre across the road. There are lots of places to eat and hay whilst charging. Back on the road again, heading for lunch in Balranald. We decided to get some chicken burgers and then watch the world go by. We finally arrived at Mildura and checked into the motel. Shane back Tessie into the EV charging bay. These are our driving stats for the day. That one? Yep. I selected the CCS side. I removed the charging cable. Then I plugged into Tessie. Tapping the EV card to get the charger started. No stupid apps required. We decided to have Mexican for tea. Yes, please. No block. Yes to cheese. Yes to tomato. Yes to corn. Then we went shopping. Shane could not make up his mind about cereal, so I found a solution. 
variety pack. You happy? What a combo. Shall we go? Time to go. By the time we got back to the charger, Tezzy went from 14 to 94% in 75 minutes and cost $36.51. This was a lovely motto to end day two. We awoke to a lovely Mildura day. Shane gave Tezzy a quick wash to remove all the insect stuff. Welcome everyone, this is day three on our trip from Canberra to Adelaide and we're just doing the Mildura to Adelaide leg. And what did you think of Mildura last night, Kaz? It's a pretty town. I went there years ago and I'd like to explore it more next time. Yeah, only we could stay in Mildura an extra day or two. But any which way, we're heading down the road to Adelaide. We have plenty of energy to get to Adelaide. But what we're going to do is we're going to stop at a little place. I hope I'm getting the pronunciation right. Narupna or Naruptia or something like that. It's what we call a time of day charger. So in the middle of the day, it's a lot cheaper to charge it is rather than the, the peak hours, early morning or late afternoon. So we'll see how that actually operates and uh, we'll, uh, we'll check it out. We'll catch it down the road. We found a server down the road, so we swapped drivers. We disposed of our fruit, then went through quarantine control. And crossed into South Australia. We were making quick headway to Adelaide. Now we've got to go on that side one, don't, yeah. don't we? Yeah. <laughs> My reversing skills had improved and I backed into the EV charging bay. These are our driving stats for this leg of the journey. I selected the left side charging cable. Then I removed it. Popped the flap and plugged in. Then I started the charger with our ChargeFox card. Because we were charging at 2pm, it was going to cost 40 cents per kilowatt hour. Enjoying it. As usual, we ate lunch while Tessie was charging. Tessie charged from 34 to 83% in 35 minutes at a cost of $16. Finally, we arrived in Adelaide. It's a stinking hot day in Adelaide. We've arrived, we've been here for a couple of days. Where have we been, Kaz? Port Adelaide, Glenelg. Saw a comedian at the Fringe and there's Adelaide Zoo. Yeah, so I've been all around Adelaide for the last couple of days. We've made the trip across from Canberra to Adelaide. Uh, we've showed you a few charging tricks along the way and just how to use different chargers. It wasn't that hard a task, you know, it wasn't a nightmare as of what EV haters have you believe. It was quite a simple trip, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yeah, so, um, and this is the thing, if you're buying an EV, get information, get the facts from people who have actually, you know, driven an EV, uh, or they actually own an EV. Uh, we'll put links to different forums in the description down below, and just ignore the crap from people that, you know, who have never owned an EV in the life. They don't live EVs, they don't know anything about them. They haven't driven EVs yet. Um, they're just full of shit. Just ignore all that part of it. Um, but otherwise, we've had a, a fun trip, uh, a fun stay in Adelaide. And yeah, it's been good. It's Weather's been, good. been hot, but it's been good. Yeah, yeah. 
So anyway, we're on the way home tomorrow, so we'll probably vlog that off. Um, and we should do the sign off. Yes. The sign and off. <laughs> you start off. No, you start off. Okay, obviously. <laughs> As always, if you want to follow our adventures, check our socials in the description down below. Yes, I am reading off a script. <laughs> if you're buying a Tesla, check out our referral code down below as well. Um, subscribe and hit the bell if you want. It's your choice. Um, and we'll catch you on the, on the way back home. Here we go. Final take, I promise this time. <laughs>